If you're ever around Monroe, Oregon, you might see a lot of super long picnic tables. These tables are all 85 feet long, and there's a reason for that number. It's because that's the largest log they can handle at the Whole Oaks Lumber Mill. The Whole Oaks Lumber Company has been in operation since 1937, and the mill has run continuously since then. They're a little unique in that they haven't upgraded to computerized equipment, and they can handle larger logs than most modern mills can. Their equipment isn't large enough to do old growth timber, so you don't have to worry about them cutting down super old trees, uh, but they can do these rather large timbers, like the one you see here, which is about 24 inches square. That's Bill Oaks in the background, by the way. He's the third generation to be running this mill. Hey, we're here at the Whole Oaks Lumber Company. We're going to go take a tour of the mill. So if you live in the Pacific Northwest, you've probably seen a lot of logging trucks around. Timber is a very valuable crop in this area. And now we're going to see what happens to the logs that come in on those logging trucks. Time for those logs to go jump in the pond. That's right, a pond. A lot of mill equipment was designed for being around water because in the olden days they would float the logs down a river. This mill isn't on the river, but it's still designed to work on the pond storage system. So you can see the pond monkey in his little pug moving the logs to the point where they can be lifted by the automatic system. The first stop for the logs is the bark stripper. From a distance, you can see the log rolling onto the belt from the pond, and then it's going to go through the bark stripper. You can hear all my students getting in the way as I'm trying to take a clear shot. I was really trying not to get them in the picture. But you can see now the little equipment coming down and surrounding and stripping off the bark. And once the log comes through a little ways, they're going to stop the belt. You'll see him writing a number on there and measuring the diameter of the log. And you can see in the background the pond monkeys moving more logs up towards the belt. All right, here comes our friend the log. See that number written on the log, 26 feet is how long the log is. And you'll notice other than the music it's really quiet here because I've turned off the sound, um, but in a little bit I will turn it up and you can get a feel for how loud the meal actually is.
here they're sawing the logs into smaller pieces which will become dimensional lumber or timbers and the size they cut it to is based on the most effective way to get the maximum amount of lumber out of this one log. So you can see the center pieces are going to be four six inch thick timbers and the outsides of a log are going to turn into two inch dimensional lumber. Some of the wider pieces have to be further sawn down into narrower strips. You can see that happening here. The waste pieces, very thin pieces, go down into the scrap heap right away. Next, the lumber goes through a planer, which smooths it out. This is not a final sanding that would happen after the wood is dried, uh, but that doesn't happen at this plant. After planing, the lumber is inspected, and so you'll see this fellow here is going to take a look at both sides of this board. It's flipped over for him, and if he finds a board that has a defect in it, what he'll do is he will take his pencil and write a number on it that says where the defect is, and then basically it's going to get sucked in this machine in the corner. It takes it around, it gets chopped to the length that he specifies, and then it will come out and get inspected again. So you see some of this lumber that's coming off the center equipment is a little shorter than the ones that are coming off to the right. That's because they've already been chopped and they're going back for a reinspection. Next, the lumber is sorted by dimensions and put in different piles to be carried off to storage around the mill. Well, that's it for the mill. Here's the storage yard with all the dimensional lumber. And of course, some of it's going to get moved off to other parts of the storage yard. Here are some of the large timbers that Whole Oaks is famous for. So if you're wondering why we took this tour of the mill, it's part of a field trip where we study the effects of disturbances like logging, volcanoes, and wildfire on ecosystems. We do a lot of holistic, real-world education here at the Evergreen State College, and I am lucky to be able to go on field trips like this with my students frequently. So if you're looking for a great place to learn science once you get out of high school, this is a good place to get your hands dirty. Well, that's it for this video. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you around with some great science content coming up soon.